Well, you asked for it. And so here we are. A new beginning. A total new account, starting from scratch. So in this video I'll show you how to start a new character and level the normal way, but I will also show you my way of starting a new character and leveling, which I think is a much more efficient one. But for experienced player this video might not be that useful for you, but you might end up with a few new tricks or two. Alright, let's carry on. Just to make sure you guys follow along, every time I use this red color with the number on the right side, it's for my new character, my new start series. And whenever I have this orange one with the numbers on the left side, it's my casual, normal tips and tricks videos. Alright, so here we go, I chose the body warrior. Here's the inventory. By pushing C you can bring up the stats, go to missions, go to game missions. And click on this mission, weapons for young heroes, and pick the sword. Because these weapons are overpowered. So I'm gonna run off, I'm gonna kill some dogs, but I don't wanna kill myself, so I put it on auto hunt by pressing K. And just let him level for a bit. For the stats, I take strength, because damage, damage is key. So why not do it with two characters instead of just one? So I make a group with my shaman. I put the level on even, so that they share the same amount of experience. And then by doing this you can just go to press this button, press config, go to window mode and then change the resolution and you can have multiple windows up at the same time. So on the shaman I'm just gonna auto hunt as well. For the shaman take intelligence, trust me on this one, just take int. Wow, look at that. 1.5k HP bonus. That's sick. Okay, now we're level 10, so we can die and press on restarting city. So here we are, level 10. Now that you're level 10, you can open this little red box and you can get a horse. By, by pressing Alt G, you can jump onto the horse. You have get some more moving speed. You can also press this new mission for a new weapon. Weapons for young heroes. Every 10th level. So I'm gonna show you a bit around. So by going here you can find the blacksmith. Here you can upgrade your items from plus zero to plus nine. And next to him stands the general storekeeper where you can buy potions. HP potions and mana potions. After that you can run here to get your skills from level five. Uh, it's under abilities. You have often two skill trees, and for warrior it's body or mental. And you talk to either of these dudes. I'm gonna go with mental. And that's because I'm gonna have this skill until level 30. Then I'm gonna switch to body. And this is the strong body ability. It's the same thing for the shaman. I'm gonna go with the dragon force abilities. It's because you can have the dragon's aid, which gives you double hits, double damage, kind of. And then you have Blessing, which gives you defense, which you can buff to your teammates. Here's the weapon storekeeper, where you can buy some early weapons. Here's the armor, armor keeper, where you can buy armor, helmets, shields in the beginning. Very useful. Then you can run over here to the storekeeper, which is some kind of bank, where you can store some of the things. When you collect some items, you can just sell them here as well to get some money, and then just I'm gonna trade it over from my shaman to my warrior so that I can buy the lowest level of armor. I have, I can afford one. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade it. From plus zero to plus <gasps> to plus one. That rarely never happens. Fa. Oh well, let's see. Yeah, my shield work. Okay, good. I think I have enough for one more upgrade. Come on. Okay, good. Okay. I actually don't have enough money to upgrade more. Oh god, okay, well, I think it's gonna work. So we jump on our horses, and we're gonna run straightly to map 2. You're too good for map 1 anyway, so we're just gonna run this part. You're gonna run into that thing, it's called a portal, it won't kill you, I promise. Just run into it, and here we are, we're in map 2. Here's what you're gonna level if you want to level the normal way, by just having two characters like this, so... 
you're gonna open up the abilities and press on the plus next to the strong body. Just make all your points go into that one. And then place it down here. And then you can press the 2 key and you'll activate it. It's really good, it gives you a lot of defense. So you do the same thing for the shaman. I'm gonna go just with the blessing because it gives you defense as well. So you right click your allied character and just press the key and you'll give the buff to both of them. So here, we're just gonna start leveling. So you can utilize your horse, ride, hit, ride, hit. So this is the normal way of leveling if you just wanna do it the conventional way. But if you watch any of my videos, you know that I want, I don't like doing it the normal way. So here is my way of starting. So I open up a bunch of different tabs with a lot of characters. I take them all to the uh, the wild dogs, the dogs area, and just get the, the early weapon on everyone and put all of them on auto hunt. So I have like eight characters hunting at the same time. And then I just take my main character on the horse, ride everywhere and collect all the drops that are dropped on the ground. This is a quick way of getting very good cash and there are some items here you can pick up that can sell for a lot a lot of money. And then you can use the money to upgrade your items, you buy more armors, upgrade them so that you're better. And then you can uh, level up much faster and much more efficient. Here's one of the items. If you don't want to pick up items like this, you can just kill medding stones as well in map 1. They can drop skill books like this that you can sell for uh, a minimum of 100,000 of yang. So you pick up a lot of items on, the, on your way. You can just go to the general store, sell all of them and rinse and repeat to get some starting yang. Here's a necklace that's gonna sell for 200,000 200, yang. I also tried killing a few madding stones, but it's not as good. Okay, so here from just following around some other uh, the low level characters out hunting, I picked up a few good items. I think it's worth around a million in altogether. So I'm gonna sell it. So I'm just gonna buy a bundle here from the storekeeper. And I'm gonna open up a shop during night, and hopefully I'll sell all the items. I'm gonna put them on really low cost, just so that I can sell them. So I can start to upgrade some items, and that I can start leveling much more efficient. When I have better items, better gear. So a few good shoes, a few good, up, uh, good upgrading items, and there you go. That's for my first, uh, I don't know, one or two hours of gameplay. And I'll see you in the next episode.